you guys give it? This is Robbie and Julia, and um, just an incredible family in our community. And uh, we get to dedicate little Luke uh, to the Lord. Here you at, little guy. Come here. Hi. You're going to sneak around this way? Nope. <laughs> We're playing hide and go seek. Hey, bud. Look at those eyes. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Yeah, you, yeah. I see you. I see you. <laughs> we believe that baby dedications are more than symbols. We actually believe in a very present covenantal God that when we come and we say, Father, here are our kids, we actually believe something shifts in a spiritual way. We believe that every person will have to choose to follow Jesus on their own. That's not a choice we can make for our children. But we do actually believe that when we look at the Lord and we say our kids are yours, that something happens, that he walks with our children, he covers our children. We believe it's a promise from the scriptures that something profound happens. And part of it is not just a dedication of saying, Jesus, our kids belong to you. We long for your leadership. But it is a recognizing that we have an ownership in the story. That part of dedicating our kids to the Lord is a commitment that we as parents will walk in a certain way. But it's not just about we as parents, it's about us as a church family. And you've probably heard me talk about this before. We recognize that if our children, I know this from the heart of a father, if my kids in this world are going to grow up and love Jesus with all their heart, they're going to follow him in a secular society amidst vast pressure to say, no, I belong to Jesus and I will be faithful to Jesus alone. It will not be simply because of how I treated them as a father or how my wife treated them as a mother, but actually it will be because we as an entire church family came alongside of them and said, we will walk with these children that they would know the Lord. We as a church family have a responsibility to walk with Luke in a way that one day he'll say, I knew Jesus because of the people I went to church with. They showed me what forgiveness was like. They showed me what grace was like. They showed me what love was like. They showed me what believing the gospel was like. This became my extended family. And so it's with joy that we get to do that. And so I want to ask of us first, um, we kind of have just a covenant that we say together. And I want to ask you, church family, and at the end, if you agree, you, you can say we will. Do you, church family, recognize that Luke is a gift from Jesus, that he ultimately belongs to Jesus, and that you and I have a part to play in him knowing and walking with Jesus? that Robbie and Julia weren't meant to parent alone, that they actually need a community that walks alongside of them. People who will pray, people who will give up sacrificially, people who will covenant alongside of them to demonstrate the grace of Jesus, that you and I have a responsibility that one day Luke will say, I knew Jesus because my church family showed me the way. If you will walk alongside of them in this way, will you say, we will? Yeah. Robbie and Julia, let me ask you, do you believe that Luke is a gift from God, that he ultimately belongs to God, and he has entrusted you more than anyone else to care for him and lead the way for him, and that God has asked you to demonstrate the Father heart of God, the deep compassion of Jesus, and the gospel which leads us to salvation, that you have been charged with a responsibility, and that you get to walk alongside him, that one day he will say I knew Jesus because my parents showed me the way. If so, say, we will. Yeah. Listen, we're going to pray for this incredible couple and their kids. And if you're here and your family or your friends that are like family and you want to come and join us, please be welcome up as we take this minute and uh, come alongside. Yeah, look at this. Family is the best. Robbie and Julie, when I was praying for you early this morning, I was reminded when Jesus saw Nathaniel. And he said, here is a man in which there is no guile, a pure-hearted man. And I was drawn to that passage for him. I just declare this over you, little one. You are a pure-hearted man. You will grow up to be a man of kindness and compassion. You will grow up to be a defender of the weak, a man of justice and bravery. That from a young age, you will love God with all of your heart. That people will marvel that a third grader and a sixth grader and a tenth grader could live in love like this. Lord, we offer him to you. Protect him all the days of his life. Would you mark him by your gifts, mark him by your grace. And Lord, we just thank you for him. He belongs to you. Lead him faithfully. In Jesus' name, 
Amen. Amen. Can we say thank you to this family?